I'm going to show you a quick way to grade a test if you make a Google form. So I made a Google form with just a few questions. I made sure to ask what the students' names were. And then I really like this because it gives me a time. So if I assign a test and then three minutes later I have a bunch of submissions, I know that the kids are flying through it and I might want to check to make sure they understand. Um, on the flip side of that, it gives me a lot of information of if I need to go faster. So I've made this and now I want to grade it. So I can click on add-ons and you want to add the Flubrew add-on. If you don't have it, you can get it. Just click get add-ons. So I'm going to click enable Flubrew in this sheet. Okay, so Flubrew is going to pop up with some information for me. So while this pops up, you'll notice the third one on my spreadsheet was answer key. So I made, I have to go through and take it. I have to give an answer key. So after that pops up, then I can go back to Flubru. I click grade assignment. And it's going to ask for some information. So if you were to do this assignment as an exit ticket or a warm up, um, you might put a question that says something like, how did you feel about today's lesson? Or how confident are you in this topic? And what you would want to do there is, so this automatically said identify student, but you have other options like skip grading, normal grading, grade by hand. Okay, so normal grading is what actually is going to grade the question. So after I pick that, I have to decide who is going to be the answer key. So that's why you have to take it. I always label it answer key. If you want to label it yourself, you can label it yourself. Um, I just look for answer key. I think that's the easiest. So now I clicked and Flubru is grading my assignment. So I'm going to get a new tab at the bottom of my screen. Over here, now it says grades. So now I can see um, how many points they could earn, what the average was, how many submitted. So right now I can see that this question and this question, they're highlighted orange because I'm at 50%. Okay, so this would tell me, hey, I need to go back and talk to the students about these. Okay, if somebody has a perfect score, I would know that that student's ready to move on. But the, this student needs help um, with doing when I subtract a number and it's going to give me a negative. This student needs help when just adding. They've got subtraction now, but adding is hard. So this is just a quick way for you to get it. Now, if another student submits my test, I will have to go back to my first tab and I will have to click add-ons and I'll have to run Flubru again. I'll have to click regrade. And what it's going to do when I click regrade is this going to ask me, are you sure you want to regrade? Because it's going to erase the previous grades. They don't disappear forever. They will show up on the new regraded spreadsheet. So I go through all the same steps again. And then it's going to give me the same spreadsheet again. But if a new student had taken it, so if you have a student that was absent, or needed to complete makeup work because they had to leave class early. You have to regrade it, you just regrade it and it all produces the same spreadsheet again. So they disappeared because it's regrading it right now, um, but they'll reappear and you'll see the same thing. I'll have the same orange markers there.